Hi guys, so today we're going to test the impasse uh, as a delta loop. I don't have all the parts from uh, Chameleon, but I've got a lot of the parts. And I will put something in the, in the description down below from Chameleon and, and wherever other parts that I happen to use in this today. So let's get together with this and, uh, and check out what it is and how it works. So what I got is the uh, the military whips instead of the 17 footers. This is the Chameleon Impasse. This is the 500 watt version. For this, if you don't have 500 watts, the uh, 250 version was probably a better setup, only because it probably is a little bit lighter on the on the system. And I'm going to use a choke. This from my antennas and my coax over there. So let me get this thing set up, and uh, we'll uh, see how this thing works. I tested it one day and it was it seemed pretty good. So let's check it out. Okay, let's uh, let's hit the tune button. See if it tunes. Turn it on. Okay, tuned up. So we should be good there. KK6 USY. Uh oh, I hear you, but not very loud, huh, Chuck. Yeah, you're only S5 here. Let me check something and make sure I have it. This thing has a little directionality to it, so let me see if I can tune you guys in better. Go ahead and keep talking. Chuck, yeah, I, I, you're, you're 2 1. Uh, you're like basically EFT. All right, copy that. All right, guys, this was a total fail with this chameleon. Okay, I was pretty, I was pretty disappointed in the antenna at first. And uh, when I was at home, my signal to my buddies was about an S10 on my doublet. Not a totally fair comparison, but just, just a comparison. And their signals were S9 plus 10 at, at times. They were running power. Now when I got to the park and I set the antenna up, it was, uh, I was receiving them about an S5, which is about half of what they were worth and just a little bit less. And my reports from them back, as you, as you, as you saw in the video, were uh, one, maybe S2. So not very good. Way lower than I was at home. But I understand that it was going to be lower. So what I did is, uh, and on 40 meter, it could have been the band changing some, but I don't really think it was. Uh, it was pretty consistent when I came home. They were about the same. Now, after I went home, I went to the Chameleon site because I remember seeing something about it being some of their antennas being a Invis type of antenna. So, um, so I went back to their site and come to find out their antenna was doing basically what they said it would do on the lower bands. So let me take you to the Chameleon site and show you uh, why this antenna was actually doing what they actually advertise it as. All right, so let's look at the product here. So we're, what we have here is the, uh, the CHA TDL, which is Tactical Delta Loop. And it comes with two stainless steel whips, which I didn't use those. I only had one of those, so I had two of the 9.4s, and this one, these are 17. Okay, and you have your 25-foot um, wire that goes between the two. You've got your part that puts them at a 45-degree angle. you got your impasse. Theirs is the, the micro, I think, and mine is the mini, which is a little bit bigger and more wattage. Coax, and then your ground stake. And this all costs $400 for this kit. So if you come down here and look, it says the tactical delta loop uh, cha is is a highly is a is a portable high frequency HF antenna uh, designed for transport ability, quick setup, and small footprint, which it is. It does all that. This antenna is ideal for camping, temporary inst installation, townhome, or other houses, which you'll see in the video that I mentioned that also. Uh, it can be operated from 3.5 to 54 megahertz, 80 to 6 meter. It was most effective on the bands from 10 to 54, which is 30 to 6 meter, which I agree with also. Um, the tactical delta loop also provide uh, acceptable short range near vertical incident sky wave invi invis propagation on 3.5 and 7.0, and 7 
megahertz, 80 and 40 meters. And that's totally true also. It, it totally lives up to that because that's what I found out. If you guys um, will see in the video that my contacts on 40 were not very good at any distance, but when I was at uh, 35 to 65 miles, uh, my signal was pretty good to the stations that I was look, talking to. Okay, and it, it will have a little bit of a, um, to the sides, uh, when, when the V goes like this, this way and, you know, on the sides of the V are, you get more signal and it's not, it's not a huge uh, difference, but uh, it does work. And it, it just comes down here and talks about their Delta loop uh, comprised of two 17 foot telescoping whips and a matching transformer, 25 foot loop of wire and a ground spake and the V coupling that's, they call that the V coupling, the part that puts the uh, parts in the middle. And then it comes down to a specification. You guys go to the, the, the site and look at this closer if you need to. And then down here, you can click on the user guide, but that's all we're going to do for today. So I hope this helps kind of clear up why I thought this antenna was something different. Um, it, it basically is as advertised. Uh, Contact me again. Right, this is Victor Alpha 7, Bravo Indy X-ray, parked on the air. Yeah, Kilo Kilo 6 Uniform Sierra Yankee again. Could I just get another radio check for you? I'm checking an antenna, uh, and uh, you're, you're like an S7 into California. Oh, mate, you're in the red. You're 20 over here, buddy. Uh, yeah, great signal, great audio. Uh, yeah, booming in. All right, I appreciate you letting me come back to you there. And uh, you're, you're doing the same. I thought you were running like 1,000 watts. <laughs> you know what it is? I'm running, I think the ocean is running it for me because I'm, I'm, I was saying to a couple of guys, I'm within one wavelength of the ocean, and that can add 10 dB to your signal, QSL. Are you running a vertical? Yeah, I'm just running a bloody, just at uh, an old Lakeview, Colorado, 20 meter hamstick on 100 watts. All right, if you want to hear your audio, hopefully I'm going to put this this up on my call sign, KK6USY Henry Adventures. I'm testing a uh, chameleon delta, a tactical delta loop. Uh, it wasn't very good on 40, but you're booming in here, so uh, it makes me feel better about it. Over. Roger, roger. Now I'll just turn down to 50 watts. Can you still hear me? Yeah, you're still S5. Now I'm going to go down to 10 watts because this is, I'm getting myself an IC705. This is 10 watts. Can you read me? Yeah, you went all the way down to about an S1, S1 over. Roger, roger. So with S1, and then now what am I when I'm up at 100 watts? How many, uh, how many, S, how many S units is that? That's S5, peaking sometimes 6 and 7. Roger, roger. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Yeah, it's Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform, Sierra, Yankee, KK6, USY. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform, Sierra, Yankee. This is Whiskey Delta 1 Whiskey. Well, gee whiz, at the moment you're a 5x6, 56. Really nice sounding station. Your audio is really crisp. Sounds good. My name is Chris, Charlie Hotel, Romeo, India, Sierra. I'm in Loveland, Colorado. Miles north of Denver. KK6 USY. This is WD1W. WD1W. Hey, uh, Chris, good signal. Uh, it's a little up and down, as it usually is with the uh, with the band, you know, but uh, good, no problem hearing you at all. Even when your signal drives, you're about an S3 most of the time, but when it drops to one, I can still understand and hear everything you're saying. Over. Can't make anything of it either. Uh, let me let me try again. It's Kilo Kilo Six Uniform Sierra Yankee. I think I got it now. Kilo Kilo Six uh, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Is that correct? That is correct. I just wanted to break in. I'm trying to test an antenna and see if you guys uh, receive me very well. I was wondering where you guys were. Your your guys are the loudest signals I can see on the band, and I'm I'm in Northern California near San Francisco. Over. I guess it is. Anyhow, and his call sign is N6 WNG. Uh, so how do you copy him, Tim? Go ahead. 
Okay, I'm in uh, is 25 miles northeast across the bay from San Francisco between San Francisco and Sacramento. Over. Okay, um, I didn't copy is that to Noah? Yeah, you got it. The last guy I got to couldn't couldn't receive that part, but you did. Good thing. You guys are like anywhere from an S3 to S9 for me. Okay, my noise. Excuse me, my noise floor here is getting to be pretty impressive. I don't know what's happening with the band, but anyway, uh, I can still copy it. Uh, Okay, well, thank you for letting me break in. I just wanted to see if you guys could hear me. I'm running a uh, FT-991A 100 watts portable in my backyard with a uh, impasse, chameleon impasse uh, tactical delta loop. Over. Uh, KK6USY, WB6Y and M right back. Yeah, you're, uh, you're running about S7, S7 here on Bethel Island. And uh, <laughs> I'm running an ICOM 7300. Uh, at uh, 90 watts into a dipole, and so uh, uh, back to you. Uh, I didn't get your name. Okay. Yeah, the name's Chuck. Yeah, you're not very far from me in Bethel Island. I know where Bethel Island is, just about uh, 30 or 40 air miles from me. So I think this antenna on 40 is better for short distance. But uh, I really appreciate you guys letting me break in, and uh, I was interested. I was listening to your guys' uh, muzzle talk there. So uh, you guys. I'll let you go back to your talk and uh, appreciate you guys letting me come in. KK6USY, 73 guys. I'll uh, just be listening for you. After I went home, I went to the Chameleon site and I have to say that my expectations of the antenna were totally wrong. Yes, here's a YouTuber actually admitting that he was wrong. I know sometimes they'll tell, tell you they're wrong, or we will, I should say. And then other times, and at that same time, we'll tell you why we actually weren't wrong. But I was wrong. This antenna is acts more like a on the, the lower band, on 40 and 80, like I showed you guys, acts more like a, uh, an Invis antenna, meaning it'll, it'll work at a less distance than most antennas. So it, it was actually doing what it was supposed to do. On 30, and six, 30 to 6 meter, it uh, actually acts like a regular antenna and gets you more distance, uh, like we saw on, on, the, on their website. This antenna does have a really no, low noise uh, base on it also. It was uh, probably uh, two to three S units lower than my doublet, but the signals were also less, uh, were less than my doublet also. But in the reality of all things, it basically was about the same because I was less noise I was able to hear a lesser signal. But what I would say is that my signal reports back, as you saw on, in the videos, uh, were I was a lot higher than they were I was giving them back so I think that has to do with it doesn't receive quite as much noise and as much signal but it actually does act like it uh, at 100 watts it does pretty well on the signal out and, and I was only using 100 watts and some of the stations I talked to were running like over a thousand or more watts and my signal reports were better than I was giving them back I think that's because of this receive level of the antenna and like I said a lot less noise. Now, I did set my uh, tactical loop up a little bit different than they do. They use a 17 foot stainless steel sectional antenna uh, with a 25 foot, I think, between the two. They use two of them, I should say. And what I used was what they call their Chaw Mill 2.0. It's kind of a military de derived mast that I, that I picked up. I had two of those, that's why I used those. They're only nine foot four inches, so quite a bit shorter. And then my, my cross piece was only 13 feet. It may have worked better on the low bands. I wasn't able to tune it with my internal tuner on my radio, but I, on 80, but I was on 40 and all the other bands. So that actually might help that. Uh, but what I was looking for is these things are only, um, the ones I use are only 17 inches long collapsed, which fits in a day pack for like a military day pack. And the other ones are 27 inches long, so I, they stick out the top. And I'm looking, I was looking for something that wouldn't stick out the top. Now, what I probably would do if I was really going to take this thing out and, in a pack and actually pack it out someplace a couple of miles, I'd probably buy their Micro instead of the Impasse Mini that I have. It's about a third of the size, 
and about a third of the weight. It, but it's only good for 100 watts. I bought my other one because I do have an amp that I would use and it would put out up close to 500 watts. So that's my reasoning for setting up the way I set it up. It just shows how versatile this system is. Uh, it'll work in many different ways. I mean, I did, I did uh, load three wires across one time and I don't notice it went any better. I didn't take readings on it then. But all the SWR outside of 80 were good enough to tune with my, uh, my internal tuner. Now, I'm pretty sure that 80 would have tuned up with an external tuner with like a 10 to 1 regular LDG or whatever, or a manual tuner. Okay, so rating this antenna, I wrote down some notes here, so let me read them. 1 to 5, 5 being the highest rating you could get. So on quality, I give it a 5. The, the quality of, of, of Chameleon's products is really, really high quality. I don't, I don't see anybody putting out anything more of quality in their type of antennas. Okay, ease of setup. I gave it a five there too. It took me like less than five minutes to set this thing up. If you're looking for something easy that's kind of stealthy, um, for you guys that live in uh, HOAs, this thing could be perfect. Even, even raised like I showed you, it could actually be uh, pretty good for you. So cost, I give it a two on cost, $400. That's a lot more than a lot of people probably want to pay for this, this type of an antenna. But if you have the money, yeah, go ahead. And, and that's kind of your choice. Uh, there are, they seem to be out at their site. I, that's got something to do with everything that's going on in the world right now, partly, I, I believe. Also, they're a smaller business, but I think they're also getting their parts, their, their antennas and stuff, out to their vendors. So I would check with vendors if you want to buy one of their products. If they don't have it in stock there, check the vendors. That's why I was able to get my impasse. Uh, HRO actually had it in stock. And the other thing is, their shipping, their free shipping is at $500. Eh, most places, most of the vendors, anything over $100, you get shipping for free. So that's why I would suggest also purchasing there. Okay, availability, and that's what I just talked about. I gave it a two. So overall, it's about a about a, um, a three and a half. So the decision's yours. If this is the uh, right antenna for you or not, I can't make that decision for you. I can just give you the information. And by the way, Chameleon did not send me any of the parts for this thing. I bought everything with my own money, so all of my decisions are my own decisions. And my, uh, you know, if, if I say it's good or bad, that's, that's what I think. And that's, it could be different for you. So if this video was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up there on it, would you? And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. You'll get all my future videos also. And if you always don't like it, you can always unsubscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. But uh, it helps me in my, in my video building to see that people appreciate what I'm putting out. Okay, this is Chuck KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. You guys be safe. Hope to catch you guys on the airways and 73 all. Thanks for watching to the end.